All right, Start Sky Football today. We are well, still in Adelaide because yeah. Gather Round just finished, but more importantly, the Tillies are back. Oh, yeah. Wednesday in San Antonio against Mexico. So that somehow works. But anyway, it's a friendly, and well, you're the stats guy. What is the stat of us in friendlies? Because we're good in competition yeah. football, but. To be fair, we all, we'd all we all love us to be uh, better in front of this, but at least we're good in title of football, so that's all right. Yeah. And these don't matter as much. Friendlies don't mean anything. Five wins, the Tillies, and five losses in the last ten. So Get a draw. Really bad record. We don't want draw or a loss in this one, so hopefully another win, but five wins, five losses, a lot worse than our tournament football. Yeah. Said. Well, we recently got whipped by Canada in those two friendlies. Yeah. Well, that was December, but... Yeah, but we rotated this quarter. Yeah. yeah. And also, like, so obviously no Katrina Gori coming into this because she's obviously injured, potentially in down for the Olympics. Obviously no Sam Kerr. Um, this is the last game before we play China twice in Australia before the Olympics. Yep. So we've got three more chances to look at the, at the gals before they head off to Paris. Courtney Vine is back. Oh, how after, good is that? After she missed yep. the Olympic lead-ups due to some personal reasons, but she's just started scoring. She's like, you know what? I'm going to score goals. Six goals in the last five matches for Sydney FC. Yep. Absolutely tearing it up in the Women's A-League. Uh, she had to come back in this side. I think she's a star. Yep. She, uh, Tony Gustafsson loves to use her as that impact pace. Sub, impact sub off the bench. Bit of pace. We love to see that. So yep. I think she might start in this one. I reckon she'll come off the bench. Like she could have come off the bench as well. It should be electric. So Michelle Heyman starts at nine, you reckon? Uh, surely. She's in unbelievable form. And she, 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 yeah. she had four against Uzbekistan. She's uh, equaled Sam Kerr's record in the Women's A-League for 17 goals in a season. So. Went back to the worst team in the A-League, shall yeah. we know? Like, uh, went second, oh, they came second, second worst, second sorry. In the end, uh, Cambria United. But she's doing it in a really bad side. Yeah. Comes into the Matildas, as uh, we talked about on this show before. She just loves uh, scoring goals. So she'll finish yeah. a few goals, I reckon, so. Courtney Nevin comes in back into the squad. She's been in great form for Leicester. That's good for our defence. Yep. Uh, the Torpedo, my new favourite yeah, player, Caitlin cool. Torpy. She's the future. Obviously, did just recently get the big money deal across to America, I believe, yep. uh, after leaving uh, the A-League. Now, Charlie Grant, what are we doing here? Because yeah, she's just struggling to get minutes for Tottenham at the moment, which isn't great as far as lead-up for the Matildas goes, but it's also good considering how condensed the schedule for some of these some of these women has been over the last sort of 18 months. I reckon she's another impact player off the bench. I think that's how Tony usually Ooh. likes to use her. She hasn't, start, she hasn't really started many games for the Matildas. I don't even yeah. I'm trying to think if she has actually nah. started before. Got to give her some game time. time. But this could be, it's a friendly. So you might as well try a few things. I think Torpy should definitely start. We do need to talk about the Mexicans, the Mexican team, they recently knocked off America, which yeah. is huge. True nil. Yeah. yeah, so they're in good form. We obviously don't have great form coming into into friendlies. Like, we did win as beat as Pakistan. We were expected to smash them. But yep. against Canada, we weren't great. Um, what They've lost their last two, but they beat Argentina, America, and Paraguay. So yeah, all it's a team. danger team. Yeah, that was in the uh, Gold Cup, the, yep. the CONCACAF. Uh, so they beat USA in that, lost to Brazil in the semifinals. Yep. They are a very good team. They're probably the best... Mexican women's team that's probably ever because they they yeah. very very rarely beat USA. US have well, dropped off a bit, but yeah, I think they'll be yeah. pretty good. Mexico now. Caitlin Ford obviously has had a very busy eighteen months. Uh, she's been coming off the bench in recent weeks for Arsenal. Uh, Kyra Cooney Cross was they recently won the Conti Cup. Arsenal, so I'm talking about her, Steph Catley, and Cooney yeah. Cross, of course. Cooney Cross, fantastic off the bench, as was Catley. Would you rest Ford or just give her 20 or 30 minutes? Like, um, we don't need to see Caitlin Ford playing, do we? We know what she's going to do. I don't really want a result like the Canada games where you rest all over the place, but you could rest a couple like Ford because yeah. the depth is there. I do. She's I, one who can bounce off, bounce on for 20 minutes yeah, late in the game, yeah. get a bit of a run around. If we need to score a yeah. goal, she can help that. Mary Fowler probably needs to play because she hasn't had as many minutes this season. Yeah. It's, it's all about getting game time into some of these players before yeah. we get towards the end of the uh, WSL season. And, of course, the season's just started in America, so Emily Van Egmond's going to be a lot fitter than yeah, what she, she was. The other week as well. I think you got to have five or six of your usual starters yeah. just so that the team gets the, the synergy. But then you can have your players like Torpy, uh, who I say Charlie Grant, yeah. things like that, just to get a bit more experience. So, yeah, Tilly's, Tilly's, Tilly's have really good depth. So Prediction. Fine. Prediction? Um, I'm going to go Tilly's 2-1. I'm going 2-1 uh, Mexico. 2-1 Mexico. Oh. Boo. What are you I know. Doing, mate? It's a friendly. It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, yeah, but we can, t- we can cheer on the Tillies. I'm going yeah. Tillies 2 1. Yeah, all right. Check out football today for more. We'll wrap, we'll wrap up this game on Wednesday afternoon. We'll look ahead to football today for EPL coming up this weekend. Let's not mention Chelsea and the Blades.